That's a lovely can of Coke. You've come back. You've come back. It's video four. If you're here now, if you've not watched one, two, and three, I suggest you reverse and go back and watch them um, because this is how far we've got. Side view, side view, edit, edit, getting pro. Little mock-up of what we're doing. We've changed tact quite a few times on this guitar, but actually I'm very happy with where we are. It's going to look very, very classy. Got some PRS humbuckers, no switchery, no bollocks, just <clears throat> creamy humbuckers. My bridge is still in America, so the bridge can just wait. That will go on another guitar. This little pink gem is exactly how I envisaged it. In this video, we've got to make these humbuckers fit in the guitar. I've got to use this bridge. Um, I need to calculate where everything's going. I want to calculate where my humbuckers are going to cut some holes. I want to mount them in the body. Blah, blah, blah. Lovely. Mm. Once I've got this body prepped, there's not that much to do. So I want to get this neck really sanded to how I want it. And then I want to get a good <laughs> 10 coats of oil on it. I want it all looking lovely before I fret it. Stop, think. Got to keep your bits in a tray. If I laminate that, it means I need to increase the depth of my neck pocket by the depth of that lamination. That's fine, I can do that. We can do that, we're in a workshop. New t-shirts today. Mm, here we go. A little bit tight, a little bit tight. Yes, you are tight like a tiger. But running season is about to start. Don't judge me, Kevin, if you're watching this. You know who you are. Christmas, we bulk, we lift weights. Spring and summer, we run and sweat. That's how it works for me, because I'm old. So right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna laminate up the bottom of that neck. Cue montage. That's my little montage complete. You don't want to listen to me glue things up, do you? If it sounds a bit noisy in here, cats and dogs are being ejected from the sky. Okie dokie, so you've all seen people cut out control cavity covers. Cue montage. So we've got a cavity cover sitting there and he's thinning down a little bit and I've got to make a little alteration to the inside because I didn't leave enough meat on there. It's pretty sexual. I'm showing the side camera for anyone listening in. Lovely. Now I've got to make me cavity cover for me humbuckers. This wood again is an absolute asshole. So moving on to new ground. Now my plan is to make this bit up as I go along. I'm just going to use some bits of wood on that. Tape it all down and use that as a router guide. And right around a channel, <clears throat> chutney. Did he say chutney channel? He fucking did. It's a shame really, this is all gonna get whittled down into five minutes for two hours work. But you've come back, so it's the least I owe you. The very least. Oh, that one's gone right inside now. That's gonna be an asshole to get out, isn't it? Figure that out later. Prick. Right, so this dirty weasel just wants to be Okay, so you can see what I've done there. That's a piece of piss, isn't it? Anyone can do that. That does not take technical skill. It takes a chop saw and some offcuts of crap. <laughs> it's the curse of the tiger wood. 
that's what it is. If I'd already cut through from the unbuckers, it wouldn't matter, would it? It's not catch up, you moron. What can we do to mitigate that? What can we do? I'll tell you what we can do. Jumpers, oh look at that, comfy, it's comfy in there. Okay, so I'm gonna router this out quickly and get this cover plate to fix. Oh, come with me, we're montaging. Gert Lash, fire in the hold. What do you know? Bit of fettling. Bit of fettling. We've got a result. That one there is for our humbuckers. They could be secured with magnets. All right, I had to put some bits in here because we had to make that bit up as we went along. That doesn't matter. Lovely. Cavity covers, cavity covers. That's a fucking win, isn't it? So now that that's on, we can do some chopping out and get some things sorted. Once I've got my switches done, which I'll do today, and my humbuckers chopped out, and my bridge positioned and my ferrules drilled in. This body's complete and it's ready for sand delicious and oiling. That's a nice stage to be at. So I'm gonna have some lunch now, big salad. And when I come back to do these cutting out, I'll probably be a little bit fatter. I know where my bridge goes now. That's fine. We know all about that. We've got our neck here. So we've got a neck, we've got that plonk down. You can see what we're doing there. Let's sort the camera angle out. I could put on me, fretboard these are the templates that i've used to make that neck so i know that they're correct three two three let's measure it for posterity back edge of the nut to the 12th fret three two three and i always go a little bit more than that i've got three two six so that's what we'll go three two six lovely that's where my bridge is going so i'm going to get a drill oh just just tidied up i'm gonna make more jeff in mess I don't want to use the screws that come with the bridge to start with because normally they're a bit crap. Lovely. I'm going to hit one screw in the middle. Beautiful. We've made an O. That's it. The point of no returnsies. Now I'm going to check that that is square. And for that, I'm going to use my humbucker template. So now I can just pilot these in. There you go, bridge is fixed. We know where that's going now. Now I can just do a cheeky pilot. Where my strings are gonna come through. I'm pretty happy with where my humbucker slots are there. So I'm gonna pop all this off and right right my humbucker holes. The diameter of the router bit's not quite right, so I've just got to ease these corners. Just a smidgen until this humbucker cover will go in. So we've got that to fit, lovely jubbly. We've got some humbuckers. They will slide in from the back. Oh, lovely. Will our screws go through? Have I even got screws for them? So first things first, match the threads up. Are they fat or are they thin? Not the right thread. Oh, he goes in, he goes in. It was just a bit tight. Oh, Sneaky Saturday session, we're back. Couple little things to do to wrap up this video that I wanna get sorted. Cause tonight I'm out to do this and I'm gonna be eating this with two of me faves. So there you go, I'm oh, Mrs. Richards.
So what are we doing today? We are... We're gonna unbolt this bad boy. Yummy. So we've got a massive block of crap on the bottom of there. Yeah, we're gonna make our neck pocket deeper and we're gonna slam this on. And it should give us a nice little profile when we come to scallop. What a load of scallops. The back looks quite nice anyway, but now it's gonna match. We've got a similar grainage. That's what we're gonna do. Just gonna router it off first, just to get it nice and flush. I um, also want to thin this down over on the thicknesser. Okay, that didn't really chop out how I envisaged. It's a bit short for the planar thicknesser. So now, I'm just gonna fit my neck in the pocket while I've got that in there. I'm just gonna mark that profile. Just gonna use a ferrule. And I'm just gonna mark a line. Just marking a line. Marking that line there. Cause I don't wanna get any closer than that. Very, very nice. Now I know where my neck needs to be chopped out. That makes life a little simpler. So that's one of the jobs we're gonna do in a minute. The laser engraving is very shallow, but I think I'm gonna put some epoxy on there anyway, just to flatten it out. So we're gonna reduce the neck pocket by four mil. That's easy done. That is so deep. Super deep, super deep, super snug. Mm, yeah, love it. Bung our bridge on, line her up. Line her up, slag. Maze balls. Maze balls. Happy with that? You happy with that? Fucking cobweb up there. Right, here, here it is, so it is. Socially acceptable, here, so it is. Now I've got that, should we just mark out for some nobules? Because I've got my centre line on before I sand away. Don't know what I'm gonna do with knobs, but we'll use them for the minute, for positioning purposes. And I'm gonna be a lever, so we're going kind of Telecaster-ish. That's good. So I've got some marks, I've got some random marks. You don't have to be, you don't have to fret about this sort of stuff. 90 mil, we're gonna come over 90 mil. Nice pencil line, parallel with our center line. Sometimes I put them on curved. Sometimes they look nice curved, but we're not gonna on this one, we're gonna go straight. I do like a straight control panel. He likes it straight. My lever slot is gonna go there to there. And then in the center of that, oh, I've got Imperial, three inches. We're gonna go inch and a half, just for my American compadres. Several sixteenths later. Let's lay on a visual representation of the lever. That's a massive cavity in it. What a hole. It's massive. We are 90 mil. So we're right, we're bang here. 50 mil in is comfy. So that pot can be there. Lovely, that brings me knob quite far back. <laughs> he said knob. We had 140 mil to fuck around with. So I'm happy with that. That's where that's gonna go. There's our visual representation. That's gonna look rather sexy. It's gonna look lovely. Very tidy, very tidy top. She's got a very tidy top, this one. Followed by a sniff. Stop sniffing, Paul, stop sniffing. Let's make it permanent. One, two, there's no filling in the sanding on this top. If you've drilled the O's by, you've drilled the O's. Gonna drill all the way along this one. Just have a double check at where that is. Oh, it's fucking lovely, look. It's right, in, right where we want it. Lovely, and with this one, we just elongate our O's gently. So we get a slot. There we go, we've got a slot. We tidy it up with a file. We'll tidy that up with a file. But there's our positions. <sighs> Gonna use shielding paint on this, on all the cavities. 
Not sure you need it on humbuckers and with, you know, it's never going to be played in a club or anything. But we're going to do it anyway for the aficionados. He didn't shield it. He didn't shield it. Unsubscribe. Harsh. In goes our switch. Oh, that's fucking lovely. Oh. Yeah, loving that. Bit of tidying up. He's bang on. Oh, you know, it's too much. Too much. What's going on? So on here, I've got 23. I'm going to go 22 and widen if necessary. I'm going to go right there. Woo! It's ridiculous wood. Don't use tiger wood, people. That is crazy hard. Bit of switchcraft loveliness. Oh, it's going to be one of them. It's tight. Mm. Tight to start with, but it's all right once it's in. That's what she said. <laughs> now that is going to be bang on. Is the top of my head looking? Is it looking? We've done everything we've got to do. Oh, no, we've got to do ferals. We've got to do ferals. Fucking prick. Wake up, Paul, you dozy bastard. Get a drill, put some O's in, and Bob's your uncle. I can see you through all of them. Ferrules in, all in a beautiful straight line. Thanks to the jig. The best jig you can buy for under a tenner. We'll put four teeny tiny holes through for our fixing. Right, clamp down the neck. Put your tools back, Paul. Tidy up your scab. Bit of choppy chopperson, lots of sanding, make it all pleasant. And then it's a very skinny neck, this one. Not my normal neck profile, I like a bit of chunk. It's a shame not to use it. That's what the customer wanted at the time. He's a bit of an Ibanez man, he liked playing on fucking lollipop sticks. So you can see I've just rigged up a little station for chopping this out. We're gonna have to go nice and slowly because this can be do or die. Right, that's it, I'm wrapping it up. That's all I've got, that's, that's it, I'm finished. I'm going home, I've got things to do today. Got things to do. This is where we've got, we've got some holes drilled out for our controls, we've got ferrules in, we've got our neck fixed on, we're laminated, we're profiled up, it's all looking a bit sexy. When I come back, next video, I don't think we'll finish it next video, we might do. We're gonna drill out some tuning pegs. We're gonna epoxy this. We're gonna do some more inlay on here, I think. Oh, lovely. I didn't think I was gonna love that as much as I do, but actually that's gonna be a very, very pretty guitar. One that I will keep because oh, it just looks lovely. Anyway, that's it. Come back next week. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. It takes two seconds, do it now. Then you won't miss anything. You can do the bell notification. I don't know if anyone does that. Do you want to be notified? I upload on a Sunday afternoon. Greenwich Mean Time, Sunday afternoons. 
I can't do any more than that because I've got another business and this is, at the minute, this is still hobby stuff. We're still playing, all right? This guitar is gonna be awesome. I think YouTube's gonna suggest a video to watch at the end of this one, but I'm still learning about end screens. So much to learn. But anyway, thanks for watching, people. See you later. Pepsi, you wanker.